Beth McCubbin began her collegiate athletic career in the fall of 2005 as a freshman on the Embry-Riddle cross-country team. The following spring, she transitioned to the track and in her first NAIA National Championship appearance, she earned All-America honors with a sixth place finish in the 1,000 meter event. The following year, McCubbin bounced back from an injury that sidelined her during the cross-country season to become Ember-Riddle track and field's first two-time All-American after she finished fifth at the NAIA Nationals. In 2008, McCubbin made ERAU history. Beth was looking great during all of our qualifying meets. We were pretty excited heading into, into that Nationals. First round was the semifinal. Beth ran a very smart race, doing just enough to get qualified for the finals. And we felt pretty good and pretty excited that she was going to be an All-American at that point. The day of the race, we had a strategy. We were going to kind of sit with the pack for the first 600. And with 400 to go, we were going to take off and see what would happen. The gun went off and immediately Beth was in last place. And she was in last place through the first lap, last place through the second lap. And Beth accelerated, moving up to the front of the pack. And as she got to the front person, she passed that person and opened up a pretty big lead. And at that point, there's that combination of emotions that set in the, the excitement of her taking the lead, but that nervousness of, did we go too hard too early? Could she hold on for the rest of the race? As she came around, first turn, she opened up a bigger lead. And on the back stretch, she was holding on to a pretty big lead. And the internal, thinking, hold on, hold on, Beth, here we go. And the excitement started to build as she came around the final curve, still with about a two-second lead. And as she came down that final straightaway, she started to look fatigued, but held on. She won. Denver Riddle had its first national champion in indoor track and field. It was a great, great moment. Very exciting and well-deserved moment for somebody who put in a lot of hard work and had done it with the right attitude. McCubbin crossed the line more than two seconds ahead of her closest competitor to become the first woman's individual national champion in Embry-Riddle history. In 2009, McCubbin was determined to end her collegiate career on a high note and did just that. We had even bigger goals that year. She was returning as the champion, and that was also an Olympic year. So we had big goals of hopefully of trying to get to trials that summer. So Beth was working extra hard and, and in better, even better shape that year than the year before. The race strategy that year was to go out to break the national meet record in the thousand. Now the gun went off, and things didn't look right. Beth immediately fell to the back of the pack. She looked tired and fatigued, and just not herself came through the first lap, last place. Second lap, last place. And we're all looking in the stands, confused, bewildered, wondering what was going on. But then, with about 300 meters to go, Beth surged back up to the front, and then it got to the final kick and the final sprint. And Beth was able to open up a lead similar to the year before, and hold on through the finish line to repeat as national champion, become the first repeat national champion for Embry-Riddle track and field. Everybody in the stands breathe that sigh of relief, and then just celebrate, high five, and dance around the stands. And it was another great moment for Ember Riddle track and field and our Ember Riddle athletic program. McCubbin bettered her junior time with a time of 2 minutes 54.23 seconds in her encore performance as national champion and closed out her career as the program's first four time All American. <laughs>